So today we have uh, Robin Greenberg in nomination in the Best Documentary Feature for the film Grant Sheehan, Light, Ghost and Dreams. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so what made you go into documentary creation? Uh, for me, when I reflect on this interesting question, I think that storytelling is at the heart of filmmaking for me, and particularly documentary, long form documentary filmmaking is truly my my passion. I see it like the coalescence of um, the visual, sound, music, movement, stillness, and the perfect vehicle to um, bring forward in-depth stories in a creative way. Okay, nice. And uh, if you could, how would you make the documentary that you submitted better if you had the chance to do anything uh, better, in your opinion? Well, um, this film, Grant Sheehan, Light, Ghosts and Dreams, has been a passion project for me over many years developing. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited to say I don't think there's anything that I would change, you know, in terms of how it's come together and the incredible kind of partnerships and dedication from, from my team. Uh, I'd say the only thing that I, I would mention in, in this case is like for me, because the films take so many years to accomplish and bring to fruition, um, that the process is also very important to me. And, and in this case, we had some challenges, just like in life, there's different unexpected challenges with every film. There were really some scheduling challenges in, in the post-production, which means that you just have to rise to the occasion, yet another challenge of, uh, of time pressure. So if I could have changed anything, it would have been just having a bit more breathing space to the finish line, but absolutely happy that we, we got there and what we achieved. <laughs> Okay, nice. Yeah, that's true. That it's usually the, the schedule that is uh, always difficult, in, uh, especially in documentaries, I guess, uh, and in independent filmmaking. So, and why did you choose that subject? Um, well, this film, like every film that I get involved with, it sort of comes to me, as it were. Uh, I had known Grant Sheehan, um, photographer and uh, publisher here in Wellington, New Zealand for, for many years before the film started. In fact, I had rented a corner of his, his studio for some time, and that's where I got to see in depth his processes and extraordinary creativity and cutting edge um, creativity. So, uh, but it was with a particular book that he published called uh, a large black and white format uh, book called Ghosts in the Landscape that I really had to approach him to see if he would like to collaborate on a film together because that book was so moving, so extraordinary to me and really stylistically created the heart of the film for me. Okay, okay. And the, you've known him for a long time as well, right? Yes, that's right. So he was, um, we had a magnificent collaboration, um, very challenging, you know, working with a photographer who's at the absolute top of his game and making sure, yeah, finding our style together. So it was really, really a lot of fun to uh, collaborate together. Yeah, that's awesome. And um, so what do you think is the most important thing to know when you start a career in uh, documentary creation? Um, I don't know that I have any great wisdom or advice on, on that matter for anyone, um, because I feel like I'm having to coach myself still, you know, all this time later, because um, Grant Sheehan, Light Ghosts and Dreams is now my fifth full length feature, and it doesn't necessarily get easier, but when it's your passion, you can't stop. So I would say for um, for any filmmaker and uh, particularly those getting started to just, you know, follow your dreams and and don't give up. And I think perseverance is is really at the foundation of everything to it's achieve your a, vision. It's such a nice documentary, by the way. It's super well done. Uh, we had uh, all the great comments from the, the judges from the festival. So congratulations for that. Well, thank you so much. That really means a lot to hear that and to have your recognition because we're just in our early journey of getting the film out. So that really means a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for submitting. And can you give us a hint about your upcoming uh, projects? For me, um, I always have a next project that's percolating, you know, especially when I finish a project, it's like this big gulf of what to do next. Having said that, 
the film, getting the film out and, and distribution is actually a full-time job, which I don't have the luxury at. So it's like a balance of making sure I give the love and attention I know this film deserves and getting something else started. So I do have a next uh, project that's, um, and I guess that I'm a little bit shy to say much about it because I know from my experience, you know, fast forward maybe four or five years and I'll have another film, but it, it's likely to take that that long. Although I want to be um, hopeful and optimistic that funding might get easier, um, uh, particularly uh, in New Zealand, we're a tiny country, um, but this project is um, international in nature, a sort of New Zealand, Japanese, U.S. co-production possibility for a documentary looking at friendship and cultural preservation. So, um, and uh, so I hope that gives you some curiosity about yeah. what might be coming next. <laughs> Yes, of course. And where can we follow you to have some news about uh, what's uh, coming next? Do you have a website? Uh, yes, thank you. Um, my um, my website is robingreenbergfilms.click. Okay, great. So I'll put the link under the, the YouTube video. Oh, lovely. Thank you. So thank you uh, very much for uh, having me uh, being here today. And uh, I'll uh, let you know about the festival uh, news and prices and uh, what's next. So thank you again for your your nomination and for uh, applying to our festival. Thank you very much. All right. So thank you. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>